Sending waste to landfills is costly to businesses, it's costly to cities, and it contributes to global warming. So this box has passed the Fiber Box Association's test for recyclability and repulpability. It has a recyclable coating on it, so while it's still water resistant, it can be recycled with regular old corrugated cardboard in any kind of recycling system that takes cardboard. This box has a paraffin coating on it, which means that it's completely unrecyclable. And not only that, but if this box gets mixed up in a bale of either these boxes or regular cardboard, it'll mess up the whole bale and none of it can be recycled. So these are trash, right? These are going to be like yeah, trash. They go to the landfill. Well, what do you think? Well, it, it seems to be heavily wax coated, and so I think it'll live for years in the landfill. My hope is that the product could actually be put back into the uh, manufacturing process and reused again. If we can get 80% of our product to the point where it can withstand the physicality of, of just how rough we treat the boxes. Right. Not here, but from point, here, point A to point B. Uh, it's critical. Global Green is working to field test these products with farmers, box makers, and grocers as part of our larger efforts to shed light on the advances in recyclable products. Materials we'd like to, uh, of course, transition away from, which is the conversation that we were just having um, prior to this one, uh, is, of course, you know, wax impregnated, medium, curtain coated, corrugated, um, and cascade boxes. You know, we, uh, we've brought these wax alternatives in to show our vendors, but also show our customers what's available out there. And then, of course, the left is, is a mix of, uh, of wax corrugated that we, uh, we do hope to get away from. You know, what's going into these materials that we're presenting to our customers um, and our stakeholders on a daily basis? Uh, people want to know. People are um, more commonly asking the questions these days than they ever have in the past. Cardboard boxes used in the retail supply chain to ship vegetables from the farm to the grocery store usually have some kind of coating. The vegetables that are shipped are usually cooled in a wet environment, and a normal cardboard box without a coating would get soggy and fall apart. Well, Spectracoot, we've uh, been around for about 50 years, back in 92, 93. We took all trying to replace the wax in, in the market because we knew eventually it had to go because of all the environmental issues along with it. So we were trying to get rid of all these wax, wax boxes going out. And we had really a couple goals. We had to make it just as strong. We had to make it water repellent. And, and by the way, they didn't want to pay anymore. Um, we impregnate the liners, which means we use the same kind of wax. Yeah. It's a wax alternative, but the right. same kind of thing. We're pushing, pushing that coating into the paper. And then we coat the paper as well. But there's no filling of the flutes in do that. And, and the reason is, you know, when you're making a recyclable box, you want it to, the goal and the, the protocol we have to pass in our industry is that it'll repulp and turn back into paper. Right. So if you've got so much of the coatings and, and, and fillers in there, it won't turn back into paper again. And what it does, it becomes non-recyclable, it ends up back in the landfill. Part of making sure that we can divert this waste is finding the products that aren't recyclable and replacing them with products that are specifically designed to be recycled at the end of their useful lives. I think uh, for certain applications, probably 40-50% of what's in wax right now could go into uh, a non-waxed uh, recyclable box. The cost is the same, same as the initial uh, pro product that we used. Um, as compared to wax boxes, it's cost neutral product as well. So we can get boxes that are good for the environment, they're recyclable, and you, and you will get paid for them rather than having to pay to take them to a landfill. The exciting part is there are currently available recyclable products that are cost competitive and can withstand the cooling processes. We've tested products in Santa Cruz County, California, Vineland, New Jersey. We're looking forward to continuing these tests as new products become available. For the sake of science, we're going to wash the eggplants, we're going to pack them in the recyclable boxes, and then they're going to do a couple of pallet layers in the recyclable boxes and put them under the hydro coolers. 
Okay. So okay. we'll get the test of having the wet eggplants in the boxes and then they'll be wet a second time with the hydro. The recyclable boxes are actually holding up better than the paraffin coated boxes, which is good news for us because these can be recycled and the paraffin boxes can. Yeah, yeah. But you can see that this is looking good to me. I like it. With all, everybody wants to go green and everything. It's a huge, you know, to me it's to be a huge selling point. To me, I think it's a good idea, and I think chain source and stuff, I'm sure, will jump right on it. Old school farmers are hard to change. Yeah. Okay? But it's Everybody. inevitable that if you don't change and you progress, that you're going to become stagnant in your diet. We don't want to be stagnant. We want to progress. Yeah. We want to be at the top of the list.